welcome. This is the energy vibration for the Sagittarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Sagittarians. This is with Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is your um business career and wealth reading. Okay, Sagittarians, there's a lot, a lot that is going on, Sagittarians. So what is happening in transparent? I see the nine of voice. Um, a lot of information, a lot of communication, a lot of talking. Um, this is going to be a four weeks period where a lot, you're dealing with a lot of meetings, a lot of um, communication, a lot of uh, um, um, contact. Uh, this is going to be a good time. It can be a good time for um, um, salespeople. It's a good time for salespeople. But it could be also a good time for um, communication. And there's going to be a lot of communication in this fourth of week. So be aware of that. So what we're seeing is uh, the um, nine of voice. The nine of voice is uh, um, huge communication, meetings, um, sales, business, uh, just a lot, a lot that is coming up. It's a fast pace uh, with communication. So we have the Ace of Emotion um, in the first week. The energy of the Ace of Emotion in the first week has to do with a lot of situation that is transparent around you where it's as if you're like, I'm letting everything go, um, whatever is happening, whatever is transparent, I'm definitely letting go a lot of stuff you know um people figure out whatever i see for coaches um coaches um life coaches um relationship therapy is going to be a very very busy period so coaches and really relation therapy is going to be an extremely, extremely, extremely busy period. So be aware of this. Um, whenever we have the ace of emotion, the problem and the situation is when it comes up to the ace of emotion, I see a lot of uh, um, people are having some sort of a information that is coming at them. That is going to be creating a lot of information. And what we see here is... Um, um, you men, um, a lot of information is going to be coming out about you and a whole lot of money. So businessmen or managers, I see a lot of information. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, I see you men are having some emotional situation. And I see a whole lot of the information that is going to be coming out. As some of you had some sort of a regrets that all of this information comes out so a lot of you are dealing with some sort of an issue um that is coming up and especially you men and men that was in um business relationship i see you and your business partner are not seeing eye to eye so this is going to be coming up um you men that is running your department i see a whole lot of information is going to be coming in um, if you are in sales, you're going to be having some sort of a problem with the account manager or the accounting um, department because I see a whole lot of information that is happening, transpiring. So be aware of that. So a lot has been happening. A lot has been transpiring. Um, the five of ones is that whatever the conflicts is or was is over. Okay, so um, if a lot of you were worried because there was a whole lot of conflict situation, that is there. Whatever the conflicts, uh, um, the commotion is, uh, um, the competition is, it's going to be over. So be aware of that. So in the first week, this emotional situation is going to be happening to men, um, especially men. Men um, where information is going to be coming out of that you didn't want it to come out about your materialistic stability. And I see this is what has been happening and transpiring. And the second week is going to be a week where a whole lot of information, a whole lot of information 
uh, things that was happening, things that was transpiring is going to be coming out um, that some of you men didn't want to know. A whole lot of meetings, a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issues, a whole lot of communication situation that is going to be coming up, information about you men that is coming out that was uh, um, you would have uh, um, preferred to keep to um, secretive or personal is coming out about you men and a whole lot of information um, will be coming up. So whatever that is happening and transpire, I see you men, um, the eight of voice uh, is here and information about you men, um, whether you're a manager, whether you're on the business floor, um, it could be information about your business that is coming in, information that is coming out that you men have to make some sort of a decision or some sort of a decision is going to be made um, um, with you men. So a whole lot of you men are communicating, communicating, a whole lot of communication, a, load, a whole lot of situations. So um, expect that in the second week, the second week is going to be a week where uh, information is coming out where some of you had wish that this information had not come out. So be aware of this. And I see that some of you are going to be feeling so pushed out and exposed. Um, so some of you men, whatever the issue, the situation and the problem is that you're having um, with your company, with your business, with your partnership, I see that a whole lot of information is um, going to be coming out. And um, this is a situation that you are trying um, to um, keep from coming out and um, it is going to be creating some sort of a um, emotional issue for me, you businessmen or um, uh, men on a whole. And I see the ace of emotion where there is going to be happening some sort of a um, financial situation that is uh, transpiring. And so there we are. The third week is the Ten of Swords. So whatever is transpiring, is that some of you are just being stabbed in the back. Um, this Ten of Swords is coming out as information because whatever was um, I'm not aware is going to be coming out in the third week. And some of you felt as if you were just stabbed in the back. Whatever the issue, the situation is, is as if you were stabbed in the back. And you feel as if a Gemini have stabbed you in the back. However, this is happening and transpiring. You felt as if a Gemini had just stabbed you in the back. However, this is coming up. However, this is transpiring. This is how a lot of you and whatever the information um, come out is as if you felt as um, a Capricorn have stabbed you in the back. Whatever um, that was transpiring and happening, you feel as if uh, the Capricorn is the one who released this information and the secret. So a lot of you could have been doing something secretive um and whatever the secret um situation is so, um it, it, you could have been um working for yourself um doing something um that you didn't want people to know in a company and uh, um you're going to be realizing um some of you felt as if a capricorn have stabbed you in the back but um you could stab a Capricorn in the back or you feel as if. So some of you is that a Capricorn could um, expose what was happening and a Capricorn um, could have stabbed you in the back. But this is not how it is basically. It is um, information that was kept that uh, um, some of you were doing and what was whatever that was happening and transpiring, this information that was kept um that some of you were really um working against a certain person exposed so um whatever is happening a capricorn and this is the thing with capricorns they bring back uh, um balance in a corporation and an institution whatever the issue is whatever the situation is is that a capricorn will open up and tell what is happening what is transpiring a corporation institution and um, a lot of you are going to be felt really stabbed in the back by this person. But actually, this person is just creating a better way of doing business. And this is what is going to be coming up and transpire. So a lot of people always say, 
um, this person um, stab me in the back or that sort of a thing. No, sometimes um, you are doing something because and this is a situation where some of you were falsifying and doing some and selling um, um, the, the goods for, of the company and pocketing the money. And this person exposed you because um, it is wrong. It is wrong. And no matter what you think, make an extra box on the side is not the way. If you want to make extra box on the side, is that you go and find your own company and your own um your own company and create your own company. But what you were doing is that you were using um the company um and um doing some sort of a um shadow side. So it's as if this Capricorn open up and um definitely show up what was happening and what was transpiring and uh, is letting people know what exactly was playing in this corporation institution now this person could be someone who was a client um this client um stand up for some sort of a dishonesty that was played with their information so i see you salesmen and accountant uh, are going to be having some real problem because whoever this person is um, is very educated and this person knows a lot about business and this person realized that whatever that was going on in the corporation and what you were doing was not above water and this person basically showed up and um, let people know exactly what was happening in a corporation and information that this person gave up has showed up a whole lot of people what was happening and transpiring so whatever the conflicts um they found out that a leo has been lying and um whoever this leo is so some of you have worked together with this leo in order to create some sort of an issue um for a capricorn and this capricorn stood their grounds against you and a leo Whatever you and Aaliyah have done to a Capricorn, this person decide, I'm not going down on the situation. I'm speaking. I'm letting out all the secrets in the bag. And I'm showing people up that this Leo has not been honest. And I see whatever that was happening and transpired, this Capricorn stood their grounds and stand their grounds and showed up that whoever this person is and whatever that was transpired, they were lying. And I see um, that um, it is a situation where some of you need to step back, step back because um, you created some sort of a situation and now the truth is coming out and you want to blame other people. And I think you should take responsibility for what has happened. You got to take responsibility for what has happened because whatever has have transpired, um, you have held it and kept it as a secret and try um, to um, blame a Capricorn for a situation and given this Leo and, and people have now seen that this Leo um, has been sort of a um, having this sort of a competition with this Capricorn knowing that uh, um, you know, they, they don't know their work. They can't do their work. They don't know their work. They don't know, um, a lot of things. And, um, you, um, pretend and try to create something to make it seems as if, uh, this Leo was in a corporation institution and people are finding out that you have lied. So, however, this is coming up and this is transpiring. This, uh, this Capricorn has tear and release a whole lot of secrecy that you, uh, um, men were having this Capricorn of showed up a Gemini and showed up a Leo. Um, how deceptive and, and the lies and deceptiveness that was going on. And I think that this person have no regrets. They were like, you all of raid on my parade. Now it's time for me to rain on my, on your parade. And I see that it is wrong what you all have done to this Capricorn. And I see this Capricorn really take back their power by releasing and letting people know what was going on in a corporation institution. And now I see whatever conflicts or whatever competition you were in with this person, this person is like, I'm in no conflict, no competition with anyone. Um, this is how it is. And uh, don't play 
these little stupid games with me because I do not want to play these games. So whatever that was happening and transpired, I see um, a Capricorn really open up the Pandora box and let out all the secrets and people start to investigate and people start to see that the Leo is a very deceptive and the Leo has been competing against uh, this Capricorn and this Capricorn is just someone. So it says, I don't compete with anyone. I know who I am and what I'm all about. I don't need to compete with people. So I see that this is a situation that is going to be happening. Um, and uh, you can blame another person, but if you are doing something false, uh, um, the universe is going to make sure that it comes out. So uh, blaming another person is not resolving the situation. Blaming another person is... Uh, um, really, you need to look at what you have done and you need to resolve the situation because it's your karma that someone is helping you to release. So they are finally seeing now the deceptiveness of uh, a Leo, okay, whether this Leo, what a man or woman is and why there was such a competition against a Capricorn. And I see that some of you men are pissed off, but it's so it says the Capricorn is like, listen, you all have played your game and now it's my time. Um, I don't play games. I'm just clearing up the mess that you have all created. I got to go. If you would like to see the extended of this reading, it's just $1.99. You don't have to go to my website anymore. You can just use the link on um, YouTube, um, it is jo the join link, and you it's a dollar ninety nine to see the extended of this reading. I'd love to see you on this on that side. If not, I will see you in the weeklies. Namaste.